And welcome to EKG. This is Ejax. And this is Cloudy. And we're back here playing Undertale. We're going to someone's house. I wonder whose house this is. <laughs> uh -oh! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yes. Okay! Stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this. She loves these! <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one training? That sounds sexual. You bet <laughs> I am! That does. And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've. That face. Though. <laughs> Why don't you two come in? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> now. Wow. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> uh, I fucking love you, Papyrus. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? Bitch, maybe. To humiliate me even further? Maybe. Is that it? No. no. Then why are you here? Exclamation. Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes? Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <laughs> Dang! What a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. Fwaha ha Fuhuhu. What a joke. <laughs> I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you like me so wait, much. Wait, hold on. Just look at her actual avatar. Not the one on the, like, with the talking thing, but like yeah. her one, like the blue, like the one that's actually colored. Yeah, look yeah. Look at her face right now. <laughs> right. You won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. It's the perfect revenge. Da da da. Why don't you have a seat? I love Undyne. She's act, like, I, I've said like a lot of times that's her and Sans my favorite characters, but Comfortable? I, yeah. I think by now I actually have, like, it's fully Undyne. Really? I'll get you something to drink. Just as her sword chilling. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> All set. Would you? What would you like? So, um. Oh. Hey, don't get up. You aren't. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um. Why not just point to me what you want? You can use the spear. So then, yeah. You basically check everything. There's like. Sugar goes in tea, it, soda, hot chocolate. He likes blatantly correct choice. So, um, yeah, it's up to you what you want to do. Each one has a. Eric! <laughs> what? Again, proving our point that my first thought when I saw a blatantly correct answer was, I'm going to check all the other ones. You go, <laughs> well, that's what advances me. <laughs> all the other ones had funny dialogue. <laughs> Damn it, Eric. Well, moo. You need to be checking things, especially in these things, because these are like... It'll the take a moment for the water to boil. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. This tea, don't tea kettles actually do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's all done. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ready. Here oh, wait, we oh, are. Actually, this isn't the part yet. Oh, god damn it. This is what I get for being ahead. Careful, it's hot. Just like... Because our character's been known to flirt with everyone and everything, so I'm surprised okay. they didn't say Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. 
<laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs> Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. She's trying so hard. <laughs> hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Before you go on, the reason I... Sort of. Well, yeah. The reason I left this for now is because we're, like, you know, the next thing we have to do is fight Asgore, and I thought, you know, this conversation would be a nice build-up to the... To, for the epic battle! Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so it's just why we're here instead of moving the story forward. Yeah. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Hot-headed. Yeah, never mind. Once, right. to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him, and worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. Wait, Eric, can you pause your story for one second? Listen to the music. Am I supposed to recognize that? Mm-hmm. Do you remember the piano puzzle? Oh, yeah. So if you think about it, and look what she has in her house. Oh, yeah. So if you think about it, she's probably the one who set up that piano puzzle. Now, later on, this becomes a character's theme. And when you realize who that character is, I'm going to try to remember to bring this back up. For anyone who knows whose theme this is, think about how sad that actually is. <laughs> like, that Undyne used this theme as a puzzle, and, like, it's kind of this theme for the story, what she's telling with that. Y you'll see what I mean. Anyway, as you were saying, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Fight me, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> but, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Ouch. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Uh. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Sweet. <laughs> She's like, fuck all that shit! That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Foo! Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! <laughs> I love that! I love the way he just grabbed you by the head, just like, come here, bitch! <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound, strong wimpy? Strong. You punch the vegetables as full at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Nah. <laughs> <Nigga. laughs> she just like fucking demolished <laughs> them. Even her sprite has tomatoes on it now. <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape those this into the bowl later. But for now, <laughs> wow. I love her face when she stops. <laughs> we had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nigga, no! Whoa! That almost turned into virus. That almost turned no, that almost turned into a very inappropriate word. Oh yeah, it almost did. Yeah, <laughs> it had a syllable. Nigga, I don't even. How are you supposed to say that? Ga or? I just be like, nah. Nah. Okay. I just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? The, in. So you already did something ferociously. Maybe. Okay. I'll try carefully. Place noodles in one at a time. They clink against the empty bottom. Nice. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. 
Ready? Let's do it. Let's see the stir. Come on. Stir or the two. Ah! Harder! Harder! I had to switch to my right hand. Oh, let me do it. <laughs> ah, fine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How many spears does she have? Oh. Ooh, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. If you see the right thermostat's actually going on. Like yeah. You go oh my god. Oh no. Should I not turn up that eye? No, keep going. Okay. Left, you fool. This burner only goes one way. Hotter. Darn it. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Oh, uh, let me do it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what just happened? Wait. Yeah. Ah! We just blew everything up. Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Fight me, bitch, again! <laughs> So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. I like you, Undyne. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me, and if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Really? <laughs> My house is in shambles. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's it. I failed to defend you. Yeah, that's you it. It's like, <laughs> I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Nah! Now is when you make the first attack. Right. Undyne is when you make the first attack. Fake? You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might! <laughs> you do one damage. <laughs> wow. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? Really? Heh. You know what? Take fuck it, you know? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. Saccharine shtick, whatever. But <laughs> I don't even know the way you is. hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. I love that <laughs> smile! That's my favorite! <laughs> Just like him. I'm assuming she's talking about Asgore. Mm -hmm. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. Soon. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. Yeah, me. And, I, <laughs> and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo-hoo-hoo. Oh, and if you do if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> that a girl. That's what friends are for, right? Look at that smile. Foo -hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But uh somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. <laughs> so if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you, too. Well, see you later, punk. Alright. <laughs> so you can, like, check things here, but it's nothing really special. What? 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 It's a live. It's a living. It's a living. <laughs> and then the house just kind of says it's on fire. All right, yeah. so go down, and uh, go to the right. No, 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 get, no, oh, no, up and to the right. When I say go to now, go to the left. Now go up there. Okay. All right, now the key we have opens the house on right there. It's locked, so we do it again. Wait, uh, go to items. Wait, yeah, item. Mystery key. Use. You use the mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked. Oh, nice. The key disappeared. So, yeah, this is Metaton's house. We're not going to actually do this because, um, you know, it's just a lot of reading. And you guys, honestly, it's one of those things you guys can experience for yourself. So, we will be right back. We will join you guys. We'll bring you back when we're in the fucking castle of Asgore. Yeah. All right. And we're back. Now, we're, oh, ominous. 
the castle looming in the background. <laughs> this, well, it's more like the city, I guess, or like the capital, I guess. I don't know. I always like shots like that. Yeah. It, looks, remember? it looks cool. It, it kind of reminds me of like a... Trying to, what game was that? Nope, it's gone. <laughs> Good. Good for us. Why is this so creepy? Well, it's just because it's like you're taking that final stroll. Do you remember? Does this look familiar to you? Yep. New home. Does this look familiar? E yep. 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 We gotta find some keys. What the hell? Is that flowy? It's a golden flower. No, that's just the. You'll see. Oh man, this music tears my heart apart. Here we go. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Just keep walking around, get those keys, man. We're about to get some plot. What are the Take keys the key for? And put it in your phone. It's that to unlock the chain. Oh. Uh. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. If you didn't know, if you think about Asgore, Toriel, Asriel. Yeah. There you go. Um, there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Uh, take, oh, actually, wait, we have to empty out our, fuck, damn it, I should have bought that other glam burger. <laughs> um, go, wait, go ahead, item right now, and drop one of your glam burgers. Just, just fuck it. The glam burger was thrown away. Uh, now you're gonna want to go. Oh, you're gonna want to do another one too. Well, actually, we don't need the we don't need the locket. Okay. Because we have ten armor, but we do want this. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah, we need it. You've got the worn dagger. Uh, now just wait. Hold on. Hit C. Equip that shit. Because right now we still have the second item in the game that you get for you equip the dagger. Yeah. Cool. Anyway. Sweet. More stuff. And if you remember back at the other house, that was the room you could go oh, into. Oh, yeah. And that was the one that was under renovations, yeah. Okay. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. That you have both. But you can't check around. Nothing, no harm in that. But I do want you to check the mirror. Because you remember at the very beginning, it was like, it's you. Oh, yeah. It's the clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says, Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> oh. Wait, where's the mirror again? Right there. Oh, yeah. Despite everything, it's still you. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> that says something very different in my playthrough. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, oh, wait, it says something different? Oh, yeah, a lot okay. of shit is different in my playthrough. Like, basically all the dialogue. Okay. Everything like that is different in mine. Oh, my God. Here we go, Eric. Then, one day, the human became very ill. God. The vegetables. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that took a turn. Oh, dude. It, mm. Asriel raked, is that the word? Racked. It, it racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a, a being with incredible power. <laughs> with the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the human. What is this doing for you right now? Feeling? I'm, I'm feeling the feels. Asriel, I am feeling the feels. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. Huh? He mm. carried the human onto it. I'm guessing the golden flowers are pretty important. There's a reason they're everywhere. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Mm. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all.
but Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. <laughs> Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The human's hand once again taken... Once again... Sorry. The human's had once again taken everything from us. Hmm. <laughs> the human's hand. The human's hand. <laughs> it, it, it still kind of fit. <laughs> the king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go and give us hope and save us all. want hope, man. <laughs> you should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? No. No. <laughs> Have you seen Giggy's face? <laughs> oh, froggets. Right. You're going to be free. Oh, that means so many different things. <laughs> and you're pro... Oh, that should go down. You're going to want to save right now. Okay. We're about to be judged. Do you want to be judged this episode or next time? They don't turn the elevator. It just takes you backwards. Yeah. Probably next time. We're going to be judged next time? Yeah. Oh, baby. Be ready for it. Join us next time for the end. Cue the metal! It's your time.